Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome to this game in the Russian Tier 6 light tank, the MT-25. Now, this tank actually got a... Um, actually got a, a buff as of patch 9.1, which was fairly near. It, it needed a bit of an engine power boost, and it got it. I don't think I have the top engine. No, I might have the top engine when I played this. I might have been missing the top radio. Can't remember. It wasn't fully upgraded when I played the MT-25 in this game anyway. And you can see that the matchmaker has been very nice to us. It's a tier 7 game, which if you're driving a tier 6 light tank is damn good matchmaking. You know, considering, well, before they changed the matchmaker you could see tier 10 games. Now I think the worst you can see is tier 6. Unless you're driving a Chaffee, in which case... Y yeah, anything's game. And that's not even tier 6, that's tier 5. But anyway. So initially I decide to go forwards trying to see if I can get some um, spots on people. Don't spot anything initially. And uh, I decide not to be too brave. Brave, brave Sir Robin ran away and tried to not die. So this thing has a 57mm gun. It's the gun that you get basically on the T-34 um, and the A-43, for example. 112 penetration, 85 average damage, good rate of fire. And with premium ammunition, the penetration goes up to 189. And there's a T-34. And, you know, this gun is perfectly capable of making a mess of a T-34. One shot into him, two shots into him. Unfortunately, he runs away before I'm able to put a third in. But he's dead either way. <coughs> And mainly in this game, you know, it's good matchmaking, and so instead of being a scout, per se, we're going to play more damage support, to be honest. So this thing gets a good amount of ammunition, but you can see what happens if you don't aim properly. I was aiming at that house to remove some of the um, Chinu's cover over there, but I ended up hitting, hitting the wrong end of the building, because I hadn't fully aimed. This gun uh, reloads faster than it aims, so that's something you do have to be a bit careful of. There's a Hellcat over there, so we're going to see if we can do anything to him. Ooh, there's one hit. Now, if I loaded um, high explosive at all with this gun, it, would, it might be useful against the Hellcat, but frankly, I can mainly only see the Hellcat's turret, and I don't bother with HE on this gun because the HE ammo is garbage. You're probably better off just taking more armor piercing, if I'm going to be honest. So, just taking away this fellow's cover... A comparatively soft, squishy target. So just seeing if I can get some fire onto him. And we're currently winning three kills to two. We've lost a tier 5 and a tier 4 scout. They've lost a tier 7, a tier 6, and two tier 5s now as the BDR goes down, which is fairly nice. Ooh, there we go. Hit on that Chino, and I think I've actually tracked him in place. There's another hit on him. So I'm just going to rinse and repeat. The accuracy on this gun is not very bad, it's just that the aim time is a little bit long compared to the reload time, and so it can give the impression of being inaccurate, even if it isn't actually that inaccurate. Flanking shots into an M6, yes please. Even if it's only a slim shot, they are into his side, which is fairly nice. Ooh, I think I managed to get one more hit in before he died. And I switch back to where that Chinu was last spotted. And I don't know if anyone's actually seen me yet, but I don't have sixth sense on this crew, but certainly no one started shooting me, which is a fairly good indicator if someone has spotted you. So I'm just, you know, moving around trying to get fire into people. And when you're in light tanks, if you get really good matchmaking, you can just act as damage support. And regardless of what sort of light tank you're driving, if you play it as a suicide, suicide scout, then I'm sorry, but you are doing it wrong. Categorically incorrect. Now, there's a Tiger 1 over here, and I'm certainly not going to try and kill a Tiger 1 in a one-on-one -on -one fight. That just seems incredibly stupid. But, I will try and take on a Tiger 1 in a horribly unfair fight. Unfair fights are for suckers. Sorry, I mean fair fights are for suckers. So, I'm initially trying to give this T1 Heavy a bit of covering fire. He appears to be going forward to engage the Tiger. Now, in a straight-up duel between those two, the Tiger 1 giggles and kills him. But, you know, I don't like straight-up duels. So I decided to try and give this guy some help if I can. Bounced on the side of his turret, unfortunately. That shot was terrible. He's on low health, and that shot kills the tiger. Unfortunately, I think that E25 is going to nail our T1 heavy, which is a shame. And a T E25 isn't agile enough to cause me problems, so I'm not going to try and take him on. 
Instead, I just back the hell off toward our base. And it's currently even at 9 kills apiece. So I'm hoping someone else can nail that E25. Our cave one else has just taken out their artillery, which is fairly nice. Put a shot into that E25. Don't manage to put a second in, unfortunately. <laughs> you can see I've burnt through quite a lot of ammunition. And when your gun does has such a high rate of fire and does such a puny amount of damage, that can happen quite easily. And, oh good lord, that's a T21. American Tier 6 light tank. So, let's see if we can outplay him. He was on lower health than me to start with, but that's no reason to just sit there like a muppet and trade shots and health with him. Let's try and avoid the fire if we possibly can. So, so far, I've put one shot into him. He hasn't put anything into me. He's also taken a bit of damage from someone else. He, unfortunately, has gun depression and I kind of don't, but I dodge that shot. That's a third shot into him. I dodge another one. Fourth shot in. Ooh, fail miserably to hit that one. It appears he's going to go full YOLO for me. He puts one shot into me, but I manage to kill him. And, oh god, there's a Panzer 4H. Only a tier 5 in this game, but still a threat to me because my armor's terrible. That shot misses, he puts one shot into me. I try and aim properly, that was a terrible shot though. And kill him. Ooh, Panzer Souffle 5. Oh dear, right. I'm trying to back off so that this guy just doesn't kill me. But, ah, damn it. He has really good gun depression, so that was an awkward situation. And because he was coming out of that sort of little valley, little alleyway, I didn't really have the space to go and flank him. So I was trying to just get out of there, but, you know, never mind. We end up capping and winning. Um, and that does mean that the two German tier 7 tank destroyers survive, but never mind. I end up racking a good, up a good amount of damage. Not so much assistance damage, but mainly, you know, actual damage damage in that game and get top XP on my team and that was my first class mastery in the MT25. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. If you did, please feel free to catch some of my other videos and or subscribe to my channel and I wish you happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao ciao.